Hi fellow IBDers, today is day one of IBD Awareness Week and today's segment is going to be called Things Not IBDers Set. So here we go. You're so thin. You need to be more positive. Now if you stop being negative, things will get better for you. You're not the same person. You're not fun anymore. You can never go out. You look malnourished. Heard that one so many times. Man or women up when we're, you know, not feeling well and we're really down on ourselves. People always tell us, man up, and that will solve everything. No, actually it won't. <clears throat> You're so lazy. How many times have I heard this one? Oh, you know, just because, you know, I'm always tired and I sleep a lot. I'm. I guess categorized as lazy. Hmm, interesting. You're useless. That's what I've heard before. All you do is sit around all day and do nothing. Yeah, because uh, when I'm not feeling well, I don't feel like doing anything. That's the point. You're using your nausea or pain pills as a crutch. How many times have we heard this one, everyone? A lot of times. How did you get your disease? Hmm, gee, if I knew that answer to that question, I'd be able to tell you. But as far as it stands, there is no cause yet. Let's see, what are other ones? I have them written down in the list. Said higher power wouldn't have given you this disease if you couldn't handle it. So why didn't they give it to someone else then? I don't understand that one at all. This is one of my most common ones that I get a lot. You have no one else but yourself to blame for your disease. That's one of the most ignorant things you could say to someone like me. No one wants to hear about your disease. All you do is talk about your disease. Yes, because talking about it is coping with it. You're still in the bathroom? Yeah, because I love spending all this time in the bathroom, let me tell you. Is it contagious? Hmm, not that I know of, but, you know, maybe if you looked it up first before you ask the question, then you know the answer. You're tired all the time. You must be low on something. Yeah, because, hmm, tired, I guess, equates to, you know, me being anemic all the time. No, it doesn't. How could you forget to take your pills? Well, let's see, I used to take them every day and um, sometimes either I forget or I simply just skip a dose because it's very, I don't know, a lot taking it all the time and sometimes when you don't feel like taking the pills or you can't take the pills or you can't get down the pills, <laughs> then you don't want to take them. So sometimes I tend to forget, but I'm human, we make mistakes, we forget. It's all in your head. How many times have we heard that our pain is in our head when we know that it isn't? I bet you don't eat anything at all. Now this one, <laughs> I always laugh and walk away because, you know, people just judge you based on your exterior. So, you know, since I'm thin, they think, oh, well, he possibly can't eat anything at all to look like that. Well, let's see, I have a, you know, I have a disease that makes me, you know, sometimes lose a lot of weight. But, you know, you wouldn't know that because you don't ask. You just tell me. Have you tried proactive? Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah, that's that's a funny one. Because that's what's... You know, when my face is all broken out from whatever medication I'm on. Yeah. What do you eat? Um, I get this question a lot after I tell someone that I have Crohn's disease. They'll ask me, what do I eat? Or what can I eat? And it's not like what I can or cannot eat. It's like, you know, I just eat whatever I can eat. I don't want to really tell you, like, what I can and cannot eat. We need to fatten you up. Yeah, because um, me gaining weight is going to solve everything, right? Don't you just get stomach aches? No, I don't. Actually, I get nauseous quite a bit. Sometimes I'll, I'm known to go up. And... It's not a pleasant sight. Are you going to die? I can't tell you how many times in college I got that one. That was one of the most common things people have said to me. 
is, am I going to die? Is it fatal? You know, you know, because when you have a diagnosis of a chronic illness, apparently you have an automatic death sentence attached to the word disease. I just wish the public would educate themselves more. That's the purpose of me saying all this. <sighs> okay, so one of the moments during one of my first colonoscopies, one nurse said to me after I was drinking um, the, the stuff, she was like, oh, um, this is one of the worst colons I've ever seen after I woke up from it. That's just something you want to hear. Um, actually, during another one of my procedures, I had, um, I think it was a CAT scan, I believe. We had to drink the barium, and I think you drink like three bottles of it. And one woman had said to me, one of the nurses, she goes to me, um, patients usually upchuck by the third bottle. And that was like right before I drank it, and I was already feeling nauseous at that point. So I just want to let all the nurses out there know, be more sensitive to patients like us when we're drinking gross things like that. Thanks. Um, you just need to change your diet, and everything will be okay. Yeah, because I haven't tried that one already, trying to change things that I've eaten, and it still hasn't helped. Stay away from chocolate, it's breaking you out so much. No, actually, at the time, it wasn't chocolate, it was prednisone. Oh, IBD, isn't that just like IBS? No, there's a difference. You have irritable bowel syndrome, and you have inflammatory bowel disease. Irritable, inflammatory, two different things. Try to stay in class as long as possible. Um, actually, <laughs> let me start about this. I was telling um, all my professors at one point about you know my diagnosis, and one of my professors told me that, and I thought it was very funny because you, know, you cannot control how long you stay in a class. You know, if I have to leave the class because I'm sick, I have to leave the class. So basically, when I told you that, you weren't listening. Let's see. You don't look so good. What's wrong with you? Um, I don't like that question because. Especially if I'm feeling really sick, like during the week and I'm having a bad week, the answer is going to be the same every day you ask me. So I don't like when people ask me how I'm doing because more often than not, I'll just say, fine. Um, here's one that I've heard actually recently. I've heard of that disease. That's a nasty disease. Actually, our disease isn't nasty or gross. I can't stand when people say that. I just think that those people that say that are, the, are those are the people that are nasty and gross for even saying that to us. You should take a medical withdrawal or leave from work or school. How many times have we heard that? It's so easy for someone like a professor or a classmate to tell us, oh, you should go to just take a medical leave. It's easier for them to say because they're not the ones that are faced with having to do that. I was even told that, so I know how you guys feel that have been said that. Um, I know someone that has it. And then they proceed to compare that person to us. When everyone knows that every IBD case is different. So please don't compare us. That's all I ask. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, because um, if it was that bad, I wouldn't have missed some of the days of school. Alrighty, let's see. Let me make sure I haven't missed any of them. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to say for um, this video. I hope you guys enjoy things that I've heard about non beers saying to me. And I hope that I will hear everyone else's responses so we can get this going as type of, a type of awareness thing where you know, just to get the word out there that we don't want to hear these things from other people and I just wish people would educate themselves. So the point of this video is basically to not assume something based on someone's disease and to actually research it or even ask the person before just saying, oh, well, I've heard about this disease, so this is you or this is you. So I hope you guys enjoyed day one's video and I'll be making six more during the week. Have a great rest of your day, fellow. I'll be Bye.